Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here we've got another set of free macros for you for colour grading. And it's done using the selective colour control. And it is relatively simple. You could do it yourself, but it's the amount of time tinkering around with things. And so these are quickly set up for primary, secondary and tertiary colours. The way to download them is simply to go to the links below, look for the download link and you can always get to the resources as well and or then go to the library and import macros to import the file or just drag and drop the .f macros file onto the interface here. And what you get is something like this. So I'm going to show you how it works and then I can show you some a real example. So what it's got here is down here it says monadic. Monadic simply means one colour so it's one colour being uh, adjusted as you'll see there's RGB and a simple and a, and a more extreme version of each. And then the same thing down here for the tertiary colours. So you've got 12 colours altogether and two variants on each. So you've got 24 different grades. So you'll see immediately what happens when you click this. Um, this file, by the way, can also be found in the resource section in the test cards. Download that. You'll find this here. So, so if I click on the red here. So the way the red has pushed out here, that means anything orange will become more red. Anything in the rose area could become more red. And what you've got is controls here. And you can just hit apply and accept them as they are. Or you can play around it here. And there's rotate and shift. You can see immediately if I change this, what happens. If I, if I move it to somewhere else, you can see it kind of rotates it. It's the nature of the macros here that it doesn't do it live as I drag this. You could let go. But then in shift, we'll shift the colours within that. So you can see that wider area there that was red is now green. So if I go to the monadic red, monadic red 1 gives you this much red. For monadic red 2, you get effectively 180 degrees of it. So anything that was magenta becomes red. Anything that is yellow becomes red. You'll also note in here that things like the whites, the blacks and the greys are not lost. That's a feature of selective colour where the colour and the tones are separated. The strength on this by the way is simply the opacity. When I apply this then it's the, the strength is just this opacity here. I can open it up here and here we've got the rotate is an HSL that simply shifts the hue beforehand. You can see that rotate there. The shift there, so if I rotate this a bit, you can see here, then the shift afterwards, the grade is the tweaking to make the red half the color here and so on. If I go to the shift afterwards, then you'll see here, this is changing the colors within that red area. So it's, it's that shifting the colors there. And all the macros have got these in, so it allows you to tweak the colour. That's the bottom line. Even though you've got 12 options and 24 different ones, then you can still do that. What you can do as well is you can just click from one to the next one to the next one, just to try them out and see what they do. So if we start looking at this in a real picture, so here we've got one with, it's got blue in the sky, green in the, the vegetation here. And the area here, you've got red roofs, and there's a fair amount of red in these walls here. So I just click on these and see what it looks like. And immediately there, because I've got that monadic red, it means it is pulling up the reds first. So there's reds in the wall here, so the reds are pulled up. And other things are left alone because it's only selecting that red area to pull up. Monadic red too, you get more reds. Of course, this looks a bit high here, so I can bring down the strength here. You have to do it a click at a time. What you can do is if you were the mouse wheel, if I roll the mouse wheel here, it goes down one point at a time. But if I hold on the shift key and rotate it again, see it goes down 10 at a time. So you can actually get a pretty live experience in doing this. Click apply and you'll keep it. Click on that and hit delete or to click on the tick there and as you can see before and after you can also click on it hit delete and get rid of it so it's very very simple to go through these 
just trying them out one after another. So you can get some quite strong effects here. Magentas and yellow. And then down to the tertiary colours. Go through oranges, lime. Lime is, is yellow green. Spring is a cyan green. Teal is cyan and blue. Violet is blue and magenta. And rose is magenta and red. So you can see all the different variants that you've got there. And then you just snip through them and you want to keep any one, just hit apply. What you can do as well is you can use um, multiple ones. You can stack them effectively. So if I say orange 2, which is a strong orange, just hit enter to apply that. And then teal 2 and hit enter to apply that. I've now got a very strong teal and orange effect. And I can just go to these, click on that, hit delete twice to get rid of it. I could go up here and say just like the monadic red one, green one, oh, let's go to red one, hit enter, green one, then we go hit enter, and blue one, hit enter. Now we've got a strong RGB scheme. So that's it. It's very, very powerful. Lots of things you can do with it. You, know, you can always go back and tweak all the little bits. So hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.